Finding the irrigation system that is cheap to install, more efficient than any other system, is the silver bullet that all irrigators look for. However, quite often that extra water use efficiency can be gained by managing your existing system better. At Oscott in the Namoi Valley, they've been reviewing their furrow system and adjusting their siphons and head height so that it fits the characteristics of each individual field on the farm. Farm manager at Oscott, Martin Mead. Martin, there's always been quite a lot of comparisons made between pressure systems, subsurface drip and the efficiency of uh, far irrigation. Now you've been doing quite a lot of work here at Oscott on actually beefing up and improving the efficiency of the furrow system. What sort of things have you been doing? You can see here, um, this part of the farm is the original part of the, the farm and um, in the old days it was developed along the contour lines. You can see these are head ditches here and they're, they're, they're following the contour. So this gives us a problem in that every row length here is, is different to each other. Um, you can see here there'd be some very short row lengths compared to some very long row lengths. So, so what do you do there though with say your, your siphons? Do you decrease the size or increase the size? Of them? What, what we do is we, we try and match the, the siphon size to the row length and, and indeed the slope of the field. Um, it might change subtly through the field. So on, on a field with short rows like this we'll put smaller siphons down and um, this will slowly increase um, through the paddock until we've got larger siphons here to make sure that we can get the water off um, so you, so in an, an eight hour period yes. is so, our aim. So you're matching the siphon size on a whole farm basis with all the different fields that you have? That's correct. When we first lay them out we make sure that we lay out the pipes um, suitable pipes, it takes a bit of uh, effort, but we make sure that the pipes suit the row length when we first throw the pipes out. So do you think that the uh, competitiveness, if you like, water use efficiency wise is narrowing between pressure systems and the furrow system? Yes, definitely. Um, as, as I said earlier, I think that um, a good furrow system um, run efficiently will get very close to a, um, an a mechanical move or a pressure system and um, it'll get very close to that and certainly a badly run um, pressure system could easily be overtaken by uh, the efficiencies of a, of a well-run furrow system.